Hello everybody, today I have the pleasure to propose to you this key 53 entitled Managing the Bad Energies. Well, we're gonna proceed like usually, that's to say in four steps. The first one, we're gonna define the concept beyond this. Secondly, the reason for being of managing the bad <laughs> energies and also the scope, let's say, the fields of application. Third, we will see some techniques and then some tips to manage the bad energies. So, by the way, we will split because the techniques, we will see 10 um, techniques to manage your own bad energies and then 10 other techniques to manage the bad energies for from other people. Okay, we will separate. All right, before starting, I would like officially to wish you my best wishes for um, this new year. We are 1st of January. Okay, so just uh, take a little pause probably for you to think properly. You know, it's like uh, um, in uh, Aladdin, you know, the genie in the bottle, <laughs> uh, proposing some different wishes. Imagine it's possible, okay? As we say several times, Seneca said there is no favorable wind for the sailor who doesn't know where to go. Okay, so what are your wishes? Okay, you have a, an infinite number of wishes. Take a break, put on pause and write and or formulate orally the different wishes that you would like to see as real. This is the first thing. Second one. To be frank with you, we can uh, wish the best wishes the whole year long. Why? Why 1st of January, by the way? Uh, you're going to think because it's the beginning of the year. Uh, yes, but it's completely, uh, um, let's say, it's not natural. It has been chose, chosen like this. Okay, 1st of January, it could have been uh, 1st of February and so on. Knowing that's um, in the past, because it's, it's quite recent is artificial. First of January is artificial. It's just a convention. Okay. So, uh, it's from the empire, the Roman empire, Augustine, if my memory is correct, actually it just, uh, changed the calendar and the year was starting first of January. And by the way, you know, the first of April is the, 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 the Joker day. Okay. Uh, to make jokes is coming from this period of time. Why? Because initially um, the new year was for spring. That's to say for the equinox. Okay. That's to say it was, um, let's say around 20, 21st, 22, depending of each year, 23rd of March. Okay. This is the real official new year. Uh, let's say regarding all paganism, all culture in the past and so on. That's why during the history, a lot of people continue to proceed with this vision of their culture. Just keep this in mind. So, in a certain extent, New Year can be every day, a new year, a new day, and so on. You can take these wishes for whenever you want, okay? Last but not least, actually, how to start the best year on good foundation, good basis, is to clean up the bad energies and how to to manage them okay so let's start with the concept what is about concretely uh, bad energies i think it's quite obvious two things this is the the hate um the low frequencies but with two aspects let's say that you emit okay broadcast and that you receive we're gonna split into two parts okay but basically, um, the concept is simple, is the low frequencies, okay? The low frequencies, um, the negativity, the dissonance, vibration, the disharmonious um, energies, this is the unbalanced energies, and this is what is not in peace, okay? Oh, so this is important because this is a kind of, let's say, the evil of the century. Okay, let's say bad energies are prevalent everywhere and more and more intensive. Okay, so as a matter of fact, all right. So concretely, you know, it's it 
will probably appear a kind of uh, switch because the density has not been so powerful recently. Okay, so and with the polarization of the society I explained already with Disson and Key uh, 46 and so on. Okay, this is really tough um, because nowadays a lot of people and it's um, increased with the social um, networks, social media, with the algorithm as well, because it's more and more um, people keep uh, with a camp, you know, with a team, with a perception, okay, and um, struggling and uh, struggling and also uh, the algorithm and so on um, strengthen into our uh, position and point of view. Okay, so, and by the way, most of the people adhere to the ideas of the people just to reinforce their position. Okay, you see, so it's a kind of, uh, it's kind of complacent uh, perception. Okay, so, but what I try to tell you, this is exactly the practical duality. Okay, duality is the segmentation, the fragmentation. All right, so, and as we try to see, there is not a camp of good and evil. Okay, this is uh, the middle way. It's like yin and yang uh, for Hinduism is uh, Ida Pingala. There is necessarily positive things within negativity and negativity within positive things within a human being, within a group, within an uh, organization, and so on and so forth. So the duality is black or is white, it doesn't work. I mean, the duality approach is the whole limits of our system, okay, of values. And what's the solution for that is what we try to see, what we saw, um, the holistic vision. I told you, holos means global, overall vision, and trying to, to have a certain detachment, empathy, and so on and so forth. Okay, so just for the concept, I think it's clear for you. Then, what's the reason for being concretely of managing bad energies and the fields of uh, application? I think it's quite obvious, is to be at peace, basically, to be harmonious, okay? Individually, collectively. You feel harmonious, and thereby you act harmoniously towards people. And it's like boomerang effect, okay? Um, or uh, domino effect, butterfly effect, resonance, progress, uh, referring to key 17, okay? What does it mean? It means that um, the more you give, the more you receive, but in both senses, okay? In both directions, um, positivity, negativity, and so on, okay? It's like a mirroring, and but essentially the boomerang effect, okay? So, individually, collectively. The more you are positive, the more your group, your network is positive. Okay, that's the point. Secondly, is the fact that the low energies, okay, the bad energy, the low energies are, let's say, impeding, straining, okay, you understand, straining is dragging down your, let's say, awakening and your ascension, ascent process, okay? Why? Because I told you already, ascension means, ascent means to, 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 to rise, okay? And so, because it's linked, is a kind of metaphor, but it's linked to the high frequencies of heart, of harmony, and so on. Otherwise, um, on the other way around, is the low frequencies. You have the lower astral and the higher astral, okay? High frequency, low frequencies. It's a kind of energy, okay? So... It's affects definitely your individual process of awakening and in parallel of that the worldwide awakening. Okay, then in general the hates the bitterness affects the health. Okay, the somatization, the process of somatization, your state of mind affects this is epigenetics, referring to Bruce Lipstone theory for. 30, 40 years, okay, demonstrated officially. Um, your state of mind impacts your DNA. Your DNA impacts your metabolism and your global health. And globally speaking, if you are always gloomy, negative, there is bad circulation of your, bad, your energies, okay? This is the principle of 
um, um, Eastern, um, let's say, philosophy and medicine. Huh? Um, let's just say uh, Chinese medicine, uh, Qigong, uh, Reiki for Japanese, or Ayurveda for uh, the notion of prana. Okay, the good circulation of the meridians and so on is not only um, the fluidity. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the body with what you eat, what you, uh, your physical exercise, this is one side, but also your state of mind is really important. This is the notion of placebo okay, or nocebo. Okay? Placebo is the positive aspect, you heal yourself. And on the other way around, uh, nocebo, you are affect your uh, health negatively. Okay, so that's the point. Then let's see, um, let's see four pillars I would like to deepen a little bit for you to, for us to, um, um, let's say, unfold the, 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 the concept and the principle. There is, there are, sorry, essentially, apparently two forces on this planet and even beyond. Um, this is the, the course in miracle explaining that, and in general, lots of uh, esoteric currents. From one side, uh, love, okay, love, light, harmony, um, and so on, unity. And secondly, is fear. Fear, implying thereby uh, bitterness, hate, and so on, all the negativity, low frequencies. The fear, I mean, the hate is the consequence. Of the fear, the fear to 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 to, to miss uh, or to lack love or to to lose it and so on and so forth. Okay, so love, fear, unity, segmentation, fragmentation. Okay, good, bad, but I don't really like good, bad because it doesn't mean anything. Um, this is subjectivity. Okay. That's the point, okay? And by the way, you can see, huh, this is the principle of, you know, um, we personalize, okay, with uh, the culture, the notion of evil, devil, okay? It's um, with, for instance, um, the, 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 the diabolus, diabolus in, um, in, 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 in Greek means uh, to separate, to fragment, um, diabolus and or um, Satan, Satan comes from uh, Aramaic, uh, Hebrew and Semitic languages. Okay, so Hebrew, Satan, uh, Arabic as well, Shaitan, which means obstacle, obstacle to the law, to, to light in general. So it implied um, darkness, but it's not necessarily darkness, it's just the obstacle of the good, good fluidity of light. That's the point. Okay, light being not necessarily the photons, of course, this is the metaphor, is the high vibration. Okay, so this is the point, okay? And the fact to personalize and to say that it's, ah, oh, it's an entity, is, uh, this is kind of um, this empowerment, this responsibility, okay? You, this is this responsibility. Uh, this is when you outsource, oh, it's not my fault, it's the devil. Uh, no, we have within the two polarities, okay? The two polarities of, if I, Make it short, like the pattern of the little angel and the little demon. Okay, so um, the demon is the fragmentation, the exclusion, the they are bad, I am good, and so on. Okay, the fragmentation with unity, the, the consciousness, God, and so on. And um, the angel is the positive aspect of ourselves. That's why, and I don't want to show people, etymologically speaking, the real meaning of jihad in Arabic means for Muslim but for in general means struggling struggling for what battling in between the good and our inner inner good and inner devil that's it it has never been um, outside it has never been outward it's inward purely and simply it's even if you analyze the holy scripture it's even forbidden is a sin to try to judge people. So it's it has no sense. It's a nonsense. Uh, yeah, like a, a physical uh, uh, battle against other people with proselytism and so on. This is a misunderstanding and interpretation for political reasons. Keep this in mind. A word to the wise. Okay. So this is really important to analyze the fact. This is actually the perception for manichaeism. What is Manichaeism? Mani is the great prophets, and this current has been completely 
destroyed everywhere in the planet. It was from Persian Empire from the, around the 3rd century uh, after Jesus Christ. And it was combined kind of synthesis between Christianism, uh, Buddhism, and Zoroastrianism. Okay? And um, explaining, the, that's why we say it's Manichaean, it means binary, it's, uh, because for this uh, principle, uh, principle it's the fact that the human being is made with two entities positive negative and same for god and this is what we can find as well in the gnosis okay the christian gnosis that's to say the esoteric part with the qatar the um, mongolian and so on so far okay different uh, faction that you can find in france and or in europe in general okay the um, gnosism Gnosis in Greek means the knowledge, okay? So it's the esoteric part of Christianity for which the massive uh, speech has been given through the institution of the church and Peter and the rest through Magdalena, okay? Keep this in mind also, it's very important. But just to keep on this, the notion of two forces, love and fear. Secondly, everything is energy. As Nikola Tesla said, um, if you want to see, um, if you want to discover the secret of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequencies, and vibration. Okay, for him, everything could be resumed through energy. And by the way, even Einstein say and declare what we call there is no matter. It's not like this. What we call matter is basically some um, energy for which the frequencies have been. Um, highly reduced to be perceptible to our senses okay concretely is density this this the sofa the table everything tangible solid apparently is purely energy with uh, lower density compared to ether things okay so that's why and even in english when you say oh um it's uh, it's a big matter okay matter matter it's materialistic dimension but it's also problematic is a problem okay low vibration when you say uh is enlightened and light okay enlightenment and so on light light is light is um weightless less okay so it's not a coincidence is what we call the language of bird this is a subtle um perception of the language we have um, language of bird in english in all languages I play a lot with uh, French because it's my native um, mother tongue. And you can decipher a lot of things through this. Okay. Uh, what, what uh, for instance, uh, um, the wake up, the wake up, okay, wake up, awakening, uh, the wake up, the way, W A Y, cup, the cup, like the holy grail, you know. So, well, anyway, it's not the point to, 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 uh, um, discussion regarding that but just keep in mind okay this energy everything is energy and um, so you emit some energy regarding your um, your state of mind you 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 your you mindset so and by the way if we put some electrodes we will see some frequencies positive and negative okay so this is not uh, let's say this is real physics concepts Okay, so that's really important. So state of mind is linked to somatization, to your health. This is what we call uh, neuroplasticity and thereby the gymnastic, the, 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 the fluidity, the stretch of your neurons and thereby also epigenetics. That's why I said you impact on your DNA, impacting the metabolism, impacting the good health of your body. Well, just also to tell you, you know, most of the time hates that energy actually are blind. What do I mean thereby? I'm going to give you three examples. When I was young, I remember seven, eight years old, you know, on small uh, roads, I remember my father was really upset, you know, uh, because normally when you cross someone, you reduce the density of your lights, you know, your car lights, okay, headlights. And <clears throat> I remember one day he was really upset and maybe during 10 minutes or beautiful words he used and I was really uh, wondering because I said to myself it's really good I was not judging him but in the absolute it's really good because he's upset 
or just lines. He didn't see the face of the guy and so on. And hopefully my father was not um, a revenge guy, that's to say he didn't put uh, you know, the, um, his, his lights for, uh, uh, as a vengeance um, against uh, other people, of course not. But some people are doing that, you know. So, but this is just ridiculous when you analyze that. You know, another thing, another example. Uh, someone explain you a story and you are pissed off. You are really upset and so on. Um, this is, I don't know, something not fair and so on. Uh, I don't know, betrayal, betrayal or a rip off and so on and so on. And, uh, and then the person say, uh, no, it was, a, it was a joke. It was not true. Okay, so... And you just, it's just a fiction, but your bad energy are real, you know. Um, the, the, the brain doesn't, meet, doesn't do the difference between uh, reality and fiction, okay. So that's really important to keep this in mind. It's the same principle that, for example, you are watching a movie with a friend of yours and or your partner and so on, and you are completely absorbed through uh, the soap TV or whatever, the, uh, the movie. And so on. You know, it's not a real story, but you are completely uh, upset. Uh, for instance, oh, the John, uh, um, this uh, this asshole, uh, he, I don't know, he, he, um, he cheated uh, uh, Samantha and so on. And you are completely, and your partner just observe and say, uh, Are you serious there? Because it's just uh, fiction. And then suddenly you realize and you say, Ah, true. It's just uh, why I'm so upset. And um, why I'm saying that is because I remember my grandma, she passed away, uh, he, uh, blink of, um, a wink. Um, she, she used to wash uh, most of the soaps, US soaps, and um, she was sometimes like this, completely upset and so on. Why? Because she was living through the projection. Okay, well, anyway, just keep in mind fiction, reality, the same results. Let's try to see <clears throat> 10 techniques how to manage your own. Uh, bad energies and then take techniques to manage the bad energies of other people. First of all, don't wait. This is uh, a technique. Don't wait anything for it from anybody. This is uh, something I applied because uh, I suffered uh, 20 years of that. Okay, so I mean, since zero to uh, 20 years old, now I'm 42, but um, I'm just saying that. Um, don't just really upon yourself. That's it. At least you will be never disappointed. This is a good uh, technique, okay? Einstein said the following. If you want to live a happy life, tie, tie it to a goal, not to people or things, okay? Secondly, um, don't start from high expectation, okay? Uh, but do on the other way around. This is invitation. This is what I apply now, and I took um, 20, 25 years old uh, to, 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 to implement. Okay? Uh, what is it concretely? Ben, try to not, not having high expectation. If you start from zero, you are only positively surprised. Okay? When there is positive actions and, and so on, you are positively surprised. So in that case, you never... Um, let's say frustrating, you're never, uh, let's say, um, disappointed. You are just um, nicely, pleasantly surprised. Third, don't ruminate. 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 What does it mean? It means that you are in loop. Okay, you know, like in loop, uh, the, the news loop, but you are in loop. It means that you are systematically. Uh, thinking about the same always always a problem a problem a problem some problems and so on so you are self-commissioning yourself through this perspective and you know it's it's beyond of the fact that is not pleasant for you is the fact that it's um neuronal neurons okay neurons is our let's say uh to make it short a neurons uh, it's like you know electric um, system Okay, and in between the connection is done through a, um, um, let's say a chemical process, but it is like electricity synapse. Okay, so but the more you are walking and using this um, these patterns, and you the more you are making them um, true and um, prevalent for you. What does it mean? It means concretely 
it's like the fact you know when on, the, on in the park um, people are walking on the grass for instance and the more they are walking there and the more there is a pathway okay is the same principle so you have connection already down and you have more chance to be negative and if you are always negative okay and when you say for example for everything what the fuck what the, all this type of thing damn damn it and so all the time sometimes it's like automatic you even don't know why you say that you see so this is creating reinforcing your mood your bad mood regarding that so be careful about that don't ruminate fourth is the notion of of detachments this regard this is what i explained before in the previous uh, keys and the key um this to the theater um game that's the fact to try to perceive you as a character you have a costume and you play a role okay and you are a certain in a certain extent detached okay so you can see you visualize like mindfulness you visualize that you your nervosity your bitterness your hangriness is you know and uh, you know it's, it's increasing 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 you can um, explode okay so you can rationalize it's bad for your health you know for uh, the communication is never good to shout and to be upset and you will be not constructive and so on the person in front will just perceive the form and not the contents your real arguments and so on so it will destroy everything okay so even with this detachment you less you give less influence to your ego your personality and so on okay this is not uh, you do it once and that's it huh? in general you need to repeat and repeat it's like to become you know your neuronal connection it, it's like gymnastics you on a stretch you need to stretch yourself every day okay uh, maybe uh, during uh, six months and if you stop it after six months you are completely uh, you know you are not stretched anymore so this is the same principle is a gymnastics and a discipline and a state of mind the concept of the mirror we talk about that before this is referring the principle that life is a mirror people are mirroring we are mirroring as there is only one consciousness and we are different fragments of it okay so concretely analyze why you overreact why you uh, overthink why you um you behave like this be um, towards someone an action and so on and so forth okay what is not solved within you okay is that the point you know it's <clears throat> like um um you know it's the notion of um the, the concept of the mirror um allows you to to be detached as well okay why you overreact there is something within you not solved okay it can be for example betrayal okay uh you have been uh, ripped off or you have been uh, cheated and so on you still have it okay it means that it's not um it's not buried it's not healed okay so it means that um you need to to clean up you need to 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 to, to, to try to to see what is not solved if not i mean if you are let's say peaceful with that it doesn't mean that you are not uh, you're completely detached and you don't don't care but at least it's like um, death when you hear about the death of someone uh, there is death every day if you are crying for any death i'm not talking about your uh, parents and so on i'm talking in general uh, for news and so on but you are crying all the time okay so it's the same principle so try to see what is not sold within you through the concept of the mirror okay empathy referring to the previous key uh, empathy is very important to understand um why okay um, um you are um the other people are suffering and why you are suffering as well you know if you are burned okay your epiderm epiderm is the skin is um is destroyed so even if i do that a caress it's you're jumping yeah you yeah are, you're are, it's uh, it's painful it's the same principle so try to analyze through empathy why people are so um sometimes um negative and or 
uh, aggressive towards you and so on. Try to, uh, let's say, to, to take a certain distance through that. Breathing, okay, breathing we saw in the key 23, uh, one techniques, we, we saw many techniques, but one of them, if you are really upset and you, you have bad energies and so on, is good to uh, do uh, cardiac um, coherence. What is it? Uh, you know, when you alter breathing, for example, you inhale five seconds, you um, hold the breath for five seconds, you exhale five seconds, and you hold for five seconds. Five, 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 or four, 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 or three, three, three. But at least it's altered. It's, um, let's say, there is a regularity and it brings you calmness. Okay? Try to do it because the way of breathing affects your mood and your mind as well. Okay? So you can see when you are upset, and sometimes it's so extreme that you're obliged to do that. When you do that, usually you calm down, okay? So try to accelerate this process through this technique. Another technique of breathing is hyperventilation. Same, you can do it um, referring to key 23, which is the following. I'm not going to do uh, for uh, 30 seconds or one minute, but it's the principle. You hyperventilate 30 seconds, one minute, and you finish by inhaling a lot, a maximum, and you hold your breathing like this, and then you're going to calm down. I'll just show you just a few seconds, but you can uh, do it uh, at your own rhythm and the, t the duration you want. And you hold 30 seconds, one minute, and so on. Even now, you see, it brings me kind of um, little um, <laughs> space mountain. Okay, so uh, just breathing is really important. Auto, um, let's say, self-suggestion. Uh, Auto-suggestion. What is it? Is the Kueff method. Is a French uh, psychoanalysis. Concretely, you repeat yourself ceaselessly uh, a maximum of time. Uh, you try to reprogram, but it's um, it's just um, orally or in your mind. Huh? And you say, for instance, uh, um, in case of um, let's say fight or uh, aggressive, I will not respond. I will keep um, my uh, my calmness. So I will be I will be peaceful. I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. I'm in harmony. I'm in harmony, and so on, so far. And you play. For instance, the goal is to avoid to be upset. And if you you do, uh, you just uh, you say to yourself, okay, I use a joker. You know, it's a kind of thing like this. But self conditioning is this. Okay, auto suggestion. Okay, then another one referring to the key certified, which is self-hypnosis. Um, okay, I gave you uh, the techniques, the framework, the, the structure that you can do by your own. Okay, there is four pages, then you can just change the induction. Induction is the messages you want to insert into your subconscious. Okay. So, uh, you can do it a maximum of time for you to, uh, I don't know, uh, um, uh, I am very peaceful with my boss, I'm very peaceful with uh, my partner, and so on, so on. It can be this, can be whatever you want, uh, personalize it according to your needs, okay? So, another good way to, to manage your own bad energies is simple, is to be happy okay we need you for that so you're gonna think yeah of course and it's a joke but actually this is kind of obvious but one of the best way is definitely uh, how to fighting the good the bad energy doesn't work okay just emitting good energy works definitely well to you know to repress the bad energy okay when you are in the darkness you just use a candle and you will see how the darkness disappear it's the same principle, just for you, uh, more than to earth uh, approach between the key 20 and 21, and then between the key 40 and 41, you have 30 keys, techniques, tips to be happy. Okay, it means in whole, you have 60 techniques to be happy. And if you take my, um, my book that you can download for free, for free, this is free of charge, it's free, I insist on my website, Sage Passage Utopia, okay, 
you have 65. You're not obliged necessarily to, uh, to implement um, uh, all of them. But at least if you just impl um, uh, uh, implement uh, 10 of them, your life will change radically and completely. Okay, so I know that a lot of people think, oh, it's a little bit Teletubbies and so on. Um, it's not at all. It's just a principle of and the foundation of uh, awakening um, spirituality, self-development, and so on, so far. It's not... The, 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 the quest of being in harmony is the quest of peace, is the quest of um, salvation, in the quest of all kind of spirituality. And it's not vain, it's not a detail, it's just the main goal. A spirituality is a help, is a mean, is not a finality at all. Okay? That's what most of people forget. It's like reconnection. A lot of people, and it's uh, English. English speaker, French speaker, whoever is the same. The new era, the new coming uh, from a new age and so on. A lot of people want sensational things, out-of-body experience, astral things from um, aliens and so on. Okay, fine, why not? But our psychedelic uh, experience and so on, altered consciousness and so on. Yeah, okay, but what's the most important? Is not to be in harmony and to be connected. Connected to what? The invisible world, yes, why not? Um, nature, people, that's basics. Okay, all what I say to you, it's common sense. But most of the people don't see it anymore because they think, oh, it's too obvious. Do a survey. Try to ask because I set up an association of happiness for uh, one of the top five business school um, of France, but I, I did it in China, okay, uh, four years ago. Um, a team, uh, we did it, um, and it was the Association of Happiness. And I did a lot of um, conference regarding this um, this topic. Ask, do a survey among, um, in, among your network, and you will be surprised how people cannot define the, the, the concept of happiness. And secondly, they most of them, they ignore how to reach it. Okay, so... As Seneca said, I told you many times, there is no favorable wind for the sailor who doesn't know where to go. It's the same principle. How do you want to be happy if you cannot define what is it concretely? You will never reach it. And how to, to do it? What's the methodology? What's the approach? And so on, the tools. Okay, keep this in mind. The word to wise. So, how to manage bad energies from other people. Okay, so try to visualize a field a uh, shield, sorry, a shield, okay, a, a bubble of light, for example, light bubble, light a bubble of light, and so on. Okay, there is um, on my website, you can download for free uh, meditation um, that we do every day, uh, every month, sorry, um, through you can uh, follow on the Facebook group, uh, Ray Rounded Meditation. Um, and um, actually, this is um, a guide meditation, is only uh, nine minutes. And it gives you some tips and um, you just have to follow. But you can do by your own. Just you visualize a bubble of light and a shield. You do it every single morning to be protected. Okay? A lot of mysticism, esoteric currents say that um, one third of humanity would disappear, die, because of bad eye. Bad eye. What is bad energy? It means by emission and by reception. By emitting, by receiving. Okay, if I emit, I want to kill you. Okay, the person receives that, and I receive also as a boomerang effect. Okay, uh, that's why, um, um, let's say, um, witchery uh, with black black magic um, is very dangerous for that. Okay, um, casting a spell is this. Is the fact that you, you send to the person, but you also have the bad effect. Okay, so in in general, be careful and protect with this recipe. Okay, then I invite you to have a um, kind of protection mantra. Mantra is a sentence, a simple sentence, official one, um, or uh, can be uh, if you have a religion, can be in your religion. Or in your uh, language, it can be in a 
you can do by your own, your own one, for example, um, and you can use the word you want, what vibrates, my, your angels, my angels, uh, God, whatever, whatever, it's up to you. But try to repeat, not ceaselessly necessarily, but as an invocation, okay? All right, let's continue. So understanding also the phenomenon of uh, projected shadows. What does it mean? It means that a lot of people are doing projection and transfer. It means that concrete, this is mirror effect uh, by projection. People are upset um, towards you, for instance, or for the situation, not because of you, but because um, they project um, their incapacity to do something, for example. They reproach you something that you are not responsible, of course. But it's happened very often. Often, people are doing this. This is projected. Uh, uh, the fact, for instance, some people can say, oh, you show off. Okay, uh, you think I show off. It's not my intention, but maybe your perception. Why? Because I am no complex anymore. I work on, on them. Uh, okay? So... Um, probably because the person is just feeling frustrating, feeling um, uh, probably, uh, 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 let's say, doesn't feel the capacity to, 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 to feel confident and so on. So, so it's a projection. You are responsible. You piss me off because you uh, embody my failure. Okay? In quote mark and uh, in a kind of, um, to make it short. Then, very important also, don't take anything personally. Okay, this is one of the four, um, you know, the four agreements, the book, okay, uh, four agreements, um, um, Toltec um, Wisdom Collection, okay, the book, okay, is one of them. Don't take anything personally, okay, it's not because of you, most of the time, um, for example, uh, my name is Aurélien, okay, um, I meet a girl, for example, it's fictive. Um, and uh, she um, she hates me. Why? Because my name is Aurélien. Why? Because is, uh, her ex was uh, Aurélien and cheated her, for instance. Or um, I look like him and so on. All this kind of thing, you see, is not you personally. Okay, so that's really important to think like this. Okay, an African uh, tribe, okay, use these techniques, which is try, um, quite um, uh, touching. Uh, I explain it in a sa Sage Passage Utopia, the book for free. Um, um, is is a fiction, by the way, and the Roman um, a story. But anyway, it, this technique is the following. Concretely, when someone is doing a bad action, people are coming, the tribe around him or her, and don't blame, but um, remind this person all the positive things the person did, okay, to, for him or for her to remember, okay, to remember what she or he is truly the true self. And I think it's really uh, beautiful and true, it's a, it's a true uh, uh, technique. So keep this in mind, I think it's in, in, interesting. Avoid, um, you know, the negative person, the energy vampire, the, uh, let's say, the negative vampire, uh, in the sense that, you know, if you have some, it's okay. If you only have that, um, it's mimicry. Mimicry is the fact that your environment affects yourself and you behave uh, by reproducing, okay? I, I saw it uh, when I, um, I left France and especially my little town and so on. Um, in when I went to um, to Asia uh, a long time ago, uh, I really discovered you know positive dimension, dynamic and so on. When so I was very happy, good mindset and so on. When I um, several time when I went back home, I mean when I went home, I I met the people I left in a certain extent, old friends and so on from childhood and so on, and immediately. Okay, why? Because they affect you. So it's difficult to arrive and to be positive, enthusiastic, and so on all the time with negative people. So preserve yourself uh, from exclusively uh, people like this. Okay, then toxic people. How to manage toxic people? This is really important. Identifying them first, a diagnosis. Okay, what in which extent they are toxic? 
Okay, they are egocentric. They are uh, they want to be right all the time. For example, they are uh, aggressive. They are envious. They are critical. They are pessimistic all the time. They are careless. Um, they are always using victimization and so on and so forth. Okay, so it's not necessarily the full package, of course, but it can be some of them. It can be also visualize the percentage. Okay, when I say identification, then identify. Identify. Sorry. If it's punctual, occasional, or and it's permanent, it's in second nature. Okay, uh, it's possible to be depressed. Okay, yeah, it's happened to anybody. A uh, few weeks, few months, one year, uh, not all in life. Okay, so be careful of that. Try to visualize the links. Okay, with them, um, the dependence. Um, if it's family, if there is love, and so on and so forth. Okay, why? Because to try to visualize. If it's affects or not, okay, you can accept completely. You're not affected. That's not a big deal, okay. But if you think they they they, they suck your energy uh, every time you see him or her, after you feel completely uh, depressed and so on, stop it, okay. So what I invite you after the diagnosis is to practice, to apply, to implement what we saw with the non-violent communication. You say. Concretely, your feelings, your needs, and you propose a change and hard and help from your sign or form a specialist. Okay, um, you express yourself. I really appreciate you. I like you, but I feel bad to to, to see you very negative all the time. Uh, um, what can I do for you? Or uh, it's affect me as well. Then I feel depressed for a few days and so on. So. After that, you need to, to see, like electroshock, you need to see a reaction, okay? And it can, it can be, uh, let's, say, um, let's say, immediate, or it can take a bit of time. But at least if it doesn't change, okay? When I say it's a seg second nature, some people apply what we call uh, Calimero. Calimero is a character from Italy. Um, cartoon and he's always crying. Oh, it's really unfair! It's really unfair! Always, always. And some people are a certain complacency, we could say, uh, to be always gloomy. And I lived it uh, from my teenagerhood. Okay, I know it's good, but you're crying and you have a, a shoulder of your mommy. Uh, okay, cleaning up, um, drying your tears and so on. Okay, so it's a choice. It's a choice, but it can be punctual, okay, okay, it's happened to anybody. But if it's systematic, okay, and you don't see any change and people don't want to change, you see a, a psychoanalysis and so on and so far, okay, a psychologue and so on. Okay, so you can establish also a distance, okay, a temporary, you know, it can be for a short period of time, one month, six months, one year, two years, one life, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but... This is important to preserve. Life is a question of choice. Okay, it's up to you to decide how you want to help someone to to wake up and to f your lay down. Okay, so this is what I try to do. Uh, many years I try to help people always, and then I just realized it affected me, and I could not because I wanted to do more than my capacity. I cannot hold ten people in my hands. That's the point. Is a metaphor. It's the same also for that. So. You only have to know yourself. Know thyself and you will know the secret of God in the universe. Some tips. Don't identify yourself to anger. Anger is, um, is temporary. Okay, It's a state of mind. It's not your second nature. It's not what you always are. Be detached. The detached witness. That's really important. Second, don't contain. Don't keep your emotion. Don't put, okay? Don't bury uh, into the sound or don't put the bad energy uh, under the bed. This is bad. It's somatization and so on. Try to let it go, to, 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 to release it, okay? This, this bad energy, okay? How? Uh, referring to the key uh, 32, but I can uh, give you some examples. Shout! This is good. Then you feel better, or um, shout or shout uh, into the water. 
this, nobody, the neighbor will not think that you are committing a, a crime. Um, but um, try to, to do this kind of thing or go for running, for running like a spring, like crazy and so on. And so on. Okay, try to do or punch, punch, punch in a punching ball and so on and in the pillow and so on, whatever. Okay, but try to release this bad energy. This is important. Don't keep it for you. Don't somatize. Okay, this is important. Okay, then accept, welcome this anger from your side, from other people. To see the beauty of a rainbow, you need the sun and the rain. That's the same principle. We cannot be always yeah, top to the, uh, the top to the game. Okay, at the top of our game. Okay, we it's happened that there is the the, the, the blue sky uh, and the sun is not always shining. It's happened. We are uh, sometimes a little bit depressed or we have bad bad mood, bad energy, and so on. People can help you as well. Okay, you feel bad. Okay, call a friend and he will or watch a movie. Uh, fun change your mind but don't focus on it oh it can be fun as well sometimes we like it put some uh, very uh, uh, sad music and so on sometimes it's good also it's not uh, sarcasm, uh, sarcasm no? uh, sometimes it's good to touch the bottom okay like this you can take the impulse also this is one of the technique as well um, preserve yourself okay no need to help everybody. Sometimes we help people by not helping them. That's very important. Give back, okay? Don't give back systematically. You know, um, this is Lex Talionis. Lex Talionis is um, from uh, Abu Dhabi, um, uh, uh, Amorabi, sorry. <laughs> Amorabi um, a role. This is from uh, Babylon, okay? It's uh, 18,050 before Jesus Christ, or almost four millenniums. And um, this is an eye for an eye, okay? And in this, Gandhi say beautifully, um, an eye for an eye, the human, if we apply it, uh, an eye for an eye, this is the all humanity will finish blind. Okay, so keep this in mind. Um, I know we are in a Wawinism, Wawinism, not Darwinism, Wawinism, we want to fight all the time and so on, but. This is not a solution. The more you give back this bad energy and like a boomerang effect. Um, you know, uh, this is Saint Exupéry, the, the father of the little prince. He said this is a sad thing to reproach and to hate all the roses because only one um, hit you. Um, uh, uh, I mean, uh, hurt you, sorry. So, do you see? So. It's the same principle, you know, um, I'm, I'm teaching for MBA students and so on, business. Business is violence, okay, to be frank with you. I started in massive distribution, um, I was 24 years old, and it was very, 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 very violent, okay? Everybody gossiping and so on so far, fighting all the time for um, the prestige, for uh, hierarchy and so on so far. And honestly, uh, and I met also so many lawless people um, ripping me uh, with ripoff, with, um, you know, my employees, my clients, my, um, uh, my um, let's say, uh, uh, suppliers, factories, and so on. Now I have my company for almost 10 years. And, okay, I had the old good, bad reasons to do exactly the same and to become someone let's say bitter, okay? And to want to fight with everybody, okay? Uh, the management I applied with my company is exactly the contrary of what I, I, I suffered, okay? And even what I teach to my MBA students and so on is because they are ambassador of the future world, even the current world, because some of them I'm teaching for 10 years, they are already working. And I try to, to convey ethics and so on because, and I said to them, I prepare them, I say, the word of uh, the word in general is violence. You need to be prepared for this. You know, it's easy to be Zen when you are at uh, uh, in Himalaya and you, you do meditation all the time and so on. You don't have any interaction with the world, with the subway, with the violence of the companies and so on, so on. Um, the, the, the invoice to pay and so on. This is easy in a certain extent. Okay, I exaggerate, but keep this in mind. So 
the fact to be aware about this, um, but the danger and the, the real, uh, I mean, the, the pernicious um, danger of, of this uh, Talionis uh, Lex is the fact that because I suffered, I want to my vengeance, okay? I, I, I want to give back this. And this is endless. We will be all blind at this rhythm, okay? So this is really important to keep, because otherwise we justify the fact, okay, I'm, I'm gloomy because the world is gloomy and I receive only, okay, there is extreme things. Huh? Some people are, they, 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 they leave violence, war, rapes, and so on, okay. But in general, I'm just trying to say that we all have problems, um, um, many bad things, okay? So what we want now? You know, and this is a little bit the, the extension is um, what we call an egregore. An egregore, what is it? It's like a cloud, okay? And you create it uh, with your drop, okay, of your mind, uh, the energy of it, okay? So you watch the news and you say, oh, what the fuck, what the world and so on, so bad. <laughs> you reduce and you create it in a parallel of that, the, the clouds, okay, the negative clouds. You are positive and you only watch positive things and so on. You credit the positivity, okay? So be the change that you want to see in the world is in action. Try to, you don't like this, you don't like this. Okay, what's your solution? What you want to implement? What's your new system? What's your new vision you have? And this is pragmatical. That's why I'm always trying to, um, to arouse this momentum of lucidity to be aware, okay? Secondly, optimism, optimistic, and pragmatic, okay? Okay, down to earth in the real project and so on. Often age, new programs of education. For instance, what I try to do in books and so on. Uh, this channel, for instance, um, and charity. Uh, but I try to compose and I'm a CEO of a company in this real world, in the, 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 the multinational and so on, in the, in the globalization. Because, and I cope with that. Okay, I'm not against the, the bad, the evil of the system. Yeah, I try. I've been the Troy, you know, Troy us. Um, I'm trying to, uh, I tried to be in it, into the system for understanding how does it work and how to um, amend, how to improve it. Okay, not necessarily destroying everything. Is evolutionary vision, not revolutionary vision. I come from France, you know, the French Revolution, you know. 250 innocent people have been killed due to the ignore, ignorance of this brutality. In every revolution, there is innocent people are killed. Okay, so that's the problem of this. I'm afraid of this. The new era should arrive peace, meal, and also peacefully. Okay, and to do step by step, positively, and so on. But we need all the good mind the good ideas and so on and to compose if we want but if we already say oh, i will not work on oh, this guy and this guy and the... it will never work guys okay so that the points i really would like that you think about it this is not a detail this key is extremely important okay the negativity how to manage bad energy i'm not saying it doesn't exist lucidity but at least how to solve this and how to handle that's really important Keep this in mind, this is only one key for you to shape the master key to open up the doors of your consciousness and your heart that you want. It's really up to you. As you know, all the roads lead to Rome and to the dome. Thank you for your attention and see you very soon.